Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. <laughs> guys it's Alma. All right guys if you're here mostly because you like recipes don't worry there's still gonna be a recipe at the end of this video all right so it's to hang tight a really good squash recipe all right so hang tight let me just kind of get through my challenge information so guys today is day six of the challenge and I'm still 100% guys that's right 100% of not cheating on the challenge what is the challenge if you're new to my channel the challenge is giving up all artificial sweeteners for the month of june and the majority of the um, sugar alcohols except for those that have a zero on the glycemic index stevia is erythritol and monk fruit guys all of those are zero on the glycemic index now we are allowing xylitol gum so or mints so if the only ingredient on that list is xylitol in regards to sugar alcohols or artificial sweeteners, it's a safe gum. Spry is good, um, Pure is good, P-U-R, Pur, Pure, I don't know. P-U-R is good, not the P-U-R-E. If you um, have never bought the Pure gum, I get them from Vitacost. I'll include a link um, and a code so you can get a discount in the description, all right? So guys, Pure gum, chocolate mint, it's my favorite. All right guys, so I'm gonna head off to the store. I got a couple things to get. Um, I think I have everything I need for my recipe, which is good. So guys, have a blessed day. Stay tuned for the recipe and whatever else I've got going on. All right, have a blessed day, guys. Don't forget, get in your water. Water, 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 and get in your steps. All right, have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody, it's Alma. We're in the kitchen. We are making squash boats, guys. So let me tell you what that means. That means you take your squash and you basically just get all the flesh out of it. How do you do it? You take your spoon and you scrape, guys. Simple as that. Spoon and scrape. And you get all of the goodness out of it and just try to keep the base of it intact. See? That's how we did it. Let me tell you, if you're taking these straight out of the fridge, it's going to be a little harder, so let them get to room temperature before you start scraping. And then it is a breeze, guys. All right? So while... All of this is going on. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees, guys. Did you hear that? It's summer. It's 100 degrees, and I'm using the oven at 400. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm crazy. All right, so then what you're going to do is, if you have big chunks like this, just chop it up, guys, as best as you can. Next, one and a half ounces of onions, guys. All right, guys, so I'm using my copper skillet, which means I really don't need a whole lot of oil, so I took one and a half teaspoons of bacon drippings. If you don't have bacon drippings, no problem. Use what you have on hand. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get this sauteed up a little bit. Now this is a whole meal, guys. I had frozen some pork and I'm going to take this pulled pork out and we're going to make another meal with that. So the side dish is the boat. The main dish is going to be the meat, which is pulled pork. It's going to be in Spanish inspired. So I'm roasting a, a pasilla pepper right now in my air fryer. And we're gonna go ahead and get all of this mixed up, get it ready to go. Okay guys, so I've added about a half an ounce of yummy, yummy, yummy cilantro. If you don't like this guys, you can add some chives to it, not a problem. And then we're gonna add in about one to two uh, teaspoons of garlic. In addition, I'm adding in some chopped onion, as well as this adobo. Lots of onion flakes and the adobo seasoning is very salty guys so don't add salt to this recipe and you'll find out in a minute why. So we're gonna let this go ahead and just simmer for a little bit longer. So pork rinds. Go ahead and grab yourself about two and a half ounces of pork rinds and grind them up. You'll need that. All right guys so I've taken it off the stove. I put it into a bowl and look at it. Look at that yumminess and what do we do now? We are going to throw in our pork rinds and then we're going to put in about three quarters cup of grated pepper jack cheese. Now let me get that mixed up. All right guys and once you've got it mixed up, you're going to go ahead and take that mixture and just start stuffing your boats. All right, be back when they're done. All right guys, these are going to go into the oven at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. 
All right, guys, so here is the meat. It was 16 ounces of my pulled pork that I had frozen and defrosted. I have about an ounce of my lovely cilantro. The balance of this, which was, which was 1.9 ounces of salsa verde, and I used the last of this, which was two ounces of guacamole salsa. And I used my entire pasilla pepper. Um, delicious, guys. Extra heat, more heat to me than my poblano peppers have. All right, guys, here we are. The meat is done. The spices here are going to be the taste, guys. I added cumin, I added slap your mama, I added the adobe, and when I say cumin, guys, by the way, lots of cumin, all right? If it's a Mexican dish, it's got to have some cumin, guys. All right, and then here are the boats. Don't they look yummy? Let me tell you, what I learned about this is it took 22 minutes. However, I would probably core them out and as I'm preparing everything, let them cook cored out in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then when you get your mixture fixed, stuff them and then cook them another 10 to 15 minutes, all right? And I think that would make uh, the boat itself a lot more tender and actually flavorful. You could sprinkle some olive oil to add more fat content on it and then put the, and then fill it. And guys, you're good to go. Now, and here we are, guys, the final product. Here is the yummy boats and the pulled pork, guys. So now look, if you need to add additional fat to build up your fat content here, guys, go ahead and add some queso fresco. Also top it with a little bit of sour cream. And let me tell you, even that sauce that I made with the Parmesan and the uh, with the Parmesan, the heavy whipping cream and the peppers, would be great on top of this dish right here. All right, guys. Hope you enjoy. Let me know if you try it. Be blessed. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday. It's a neato. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah.